All right, so welcome again. So testing out the mic because for, recently I've been having this morning vice lay, Sir P Vice. <laughs> welcome again, viewers and subscribers. Welcome again. You know it's your, your friend Sir P. But anyways, um, thank you guys for joining again. Today we'll speak about the reggae boys, Superman, the man who can who just can't stop flying. None other than main man Andre Blake. So, guys, we're gonna go look through all his three performances and then have an have a overall look on his performance for his first set of fixtures because I believe that he's one of those standout players throughout this performance. I've selected a few players, just a few players, not all players, and I've given them specific titles for this, um, for this series that I'm doing. A specific title. So this one we're looking at, the reggae boys, Superman. The reason why his title is entitled Superman is because... He's flying. <laughs> He's flying. No, there's go. There goes question for cause because one of those particular games there was a sig significant. Mm, I won't highlight. There's a significant highlight in one of those particular performance, and there begs a lot of questions. No, I'm gonna go straight into it. But before I do that, guys, what I want you guys to do is smash a like button and also subscribe. Hit the subscribe button as well. I will totally appreciate it. If you do, I'm still trying to adjust the volume. But people, guess what? I'm over 1 million views. I have no clue that so much people had that much time on their hand to watch me. Honestly, I'm being honest. Sometimes I'm, I don't even like listening to myself. <laughs> but people, I totally appreciate it, people. Thank you very much for the continued support. and really do. But guess what? Work goes on. It does not stop right there. We're going to go straight into it. So we're going to go look into the Reggae Boy Superman. Smash, like, and also share. Um, we have some very good, great topics we're going to touch on. Some some very, very good topics we're going to touch on. All right, so this is my tweet. Andre Blake performances for the first set of fixtures by numbers. Um, Mexico, Jamaica, Mexico versus Jamaica. Jamaica versus Panama. And Costa Rica versus Jamaica. So we're going to go straight in. So as I said here in my tweet, he had a significant increase in his performance stats in the I won't say it, <laughs> but definitely. So let's look at the first game, people. Let's look at the first game. Let's have a good look at the first game. So the first game was, was against Mexico. We all knew everyone dug in, but guess what? This player, I want to highlight this player, the Superman, the reggae boy Superman. All right, so Mexico, he had a full 90 minutes of game. Um, He made five saves in this game. No punches, one I claim. He made two saves inside of the box. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to get those pictures. Sorry, people. I, I need to get those pictures for each one of these stats. I need to get those pictures. So he made two saves inside of the box. Um, he had a total of 46 touches. Um, passing accuracy at 52%. He completed 17 out of 33 passes in that Mexico game. Then now he attempted 20 long ball and completed 12 in the in the same game. One clearance, complete one duel, and he conceded two goals in that game. But guess what? It could have been more. As I said, he makes some very good saves. Um, the defenders put in a good shift as well. That's after them for that. Now, let's look on to the next performance. Guys, if you're liking the show so far, please tell me what you think about his, his performance against the Mexico team. Now, this is the performance that worries me the most. This is the performance that worries me the most. And I'm going to highlight some factors in this performance. Now, in this particular performance, he made a significant drop in everything, basically almost everything. His long balls, his passing accuracy, um, and the amount of goals he conceded. Not only that, some of the things that won't see on stats is positional, um, is positioning inside of the goal. So I was quite questioning his I was really, really questioning it is 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 um his performance for this game. So totally, total 90 minutes played. He made three saves, two punches, I claims, and then didn't came out to claim in one of those crosses or corners, and made two saves inside of the box as well. Um also at 48 touches, accurate pass, 21 out of 30, um, 30, 37 at 57%. Long ball, four out of 20, which is significantly low for him. Really, really low. Made zero clearances. He didn't try to get into any duels. And also conceded three goals. Now, let's look at his most outstanding performance. So, you went from that performance against 
a Panama team, well, the Panama team is looking good. If, if you if you should calculate the results that they're, they're, they're pulling through now, you can say that they're actually putting some good performance. Now we're going to move to the Costa Rica game where we have the biggest increase. We have the biggest increase in performance. Minutes played 90, same 90 minutes. He had six saves, six saves people, three punches, one I claim he had three saves inside the inside of the box. You can I can clearly remember that save that, that come the ball that came in from across, went to near the guy, went to near post. Andre Blake reflex, 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 went down as early as possible, tipped it over, chips off the top of the bar, and went out. Brilliant, brilliant save. That is literally um his highlight. That game, that save was hit his literal highlight for that game. He had 39 touches. And he attempted 21 pass, completing 19 of them. Finished the game at 90% passing accuracy. As I said, increasing performance. Long ball 12, completed 10. And that's all. That's I think that 90 percent as well. So that's as I said, another increase in performance. He made three clearances in which he didn't do before. Also, two aerial duels in which he didn't do before, completing both of them. Um why did I put goal considered three? <laughs> My bad, people. You only considered one goal in this game. I do apologize for that. Um, but definitely we'll move on to that. So let's go into the final stats. All stats combined together. Total minutes played, 270 minutes, 14 saves, three punches, two eye claims. He made seven saves in the box from three games. People, I'm telling you personally, I believe that is too much for a keeper. That is really, really too much for a keeper, especially inside of the box. Um, touches, 133 touches. Accurate pass, he completed 50 out of 91 at 55%. Um, 26 long ball completed out of 60. That's a little bit below 50%. Um, he made four clearances, four, four duels, and conceded six goals throughout his campaign. So he conceded one, is it six? Yes, two against Mexico. Three against Panama, one against um, Costa Rica. So, not too bad. But his performance was de definitely a good performance. That that Panama game was literally... Uh, it, I don't even know if I should, I should call it a bloop. <laughs> I have no clue if I should actually call that Panama game a bloop. <laughs> I have no clue. So, people, I do apologize for the... The Costa Rica um, goal conceded aspect of it. I do apologize for that. Um, I just didn't. I didn't make the necessary adjustments. My apology. My sincere apology, people. So, people, that's always stays for Andre Blake. Good performance. Put it down in the comment section. What do you take of his performance over these three games? What do you take about think about his performance over these three games? And it, it, it encompassed in his final stats that there was hopes, there was down. But so far, what I've realized that he had a significant performance in the in the Costa Rica game. Could that be the coach coming under pressure? He's applying more pressure to the players, or the coach demanding a lot more from his players, and maybe the coach just got his tactics a bit closer, right, where we almost got the result that we want, and all the players putting a performance based on the fact that um, things were actually coming together. These are factors that I'm considering. But for now, this has been really a good one, people. Our Andre Superman Blake, um, Reggae Boys, so own, very, very own Superman people. As I said, thank you very much, people, for viewing. And LP, 1 million people, 1 million, really, 1 million. I didn't know you have so much football fanatics like myself. I never knew you have so much football fanatics like myself who love this game, especially... Love our country, love the culture. People, this is for us. This is for Jamaica. This channel is for Jamaica. This is for the reggae boys. Even if you support different clubs, it doesn't matter. This channel is for the reggae boys. This channel is for you. You're Jamaican. Subscribe to this channel. Definitely. Military Guna TV, people. We have well, there's a there's a lot of other channels out there. A lot of them. I'm telling you, a lot of them. You can you guys can go and check them out. Coaches X, Ryan LFC, IMAX in football. Prima Vision, Formula Sports, I Am Sure Sports. People, there's a lot of them. Go and check them out as well. Definitely, all of us need the support. Really, really appreciate people. Guess what? Military Guna TV, and I am out. Superman.